Hey guys, my name is Vanessa if you are new and today I am sharing with you guys what I recently found at the Dollar Tree and Big Lots. So the other day I went with my friend Kira over at Fifty Shades of Mom and we went out to breakfast, did a little work at the restaurant and then the place that we picked was next to a Big Lots and a Dollar Tree. So of course we had to check them out. I got several things from Big Lots, just a couple things from that Dollar Tree. However, the very next day, my one of my dogs, Oliver, had his like monthly, what I like to tell him it is, is his spa day where he gets bathed, teeth brushed, nails like clipped and trimmed and all the things. So while he was at that, there's a Dollar Tree right next to where I take him. So I went in there and I found quite a few more items. So I figured I would sit down and share everything with you guys. So first we're gonna start with Big Lots. I feel like I got a pretty wide variety of things from Big Lots, but I did not separate it. So I am just going to pull things out as they were bagged. First things up, if you guys watched Ooh, a week or two ago, I shared a video where my younger three kids tried out all the new little Debbie ice creams. And then of course, so they knew like what the flavor was supposed to be. I got all the treats as well because they actually haven't had all of the little Debbie treats. We don't pick those things up on the regular. So there were several things that they hadn't tried. Well, at Big Lots, with like little Debbie still on the brain, I saw these little donuts. They're zebra cake donuts by little Debbie. And actually not too much longer from when this video goes out, we are heading out of town. It is a surprise vacation for the kids right after school ends for them. And I wanna make sure that we're taking, we have like a tiny, not really a kitchen, but we have a fridge and a coffee maker and all of that at the place that we're staying. And I know we're not gonna wanna pay to like to eat out all the time. So I'm gonna tuck these away and bring these with us. This will be like a quick breakfast option with some fruit and coffee for me probably milk or chocolate milk for the kids, and we'll be good to go for that morning for breakfast. So like I said, I'm going to tuck these away. The sale by date, oh, I just saw it, oh, on the back, is June 7th, and we're gonna be there and already back before that date. So these will make it and be good, but I think they'll get a kick out of seeing this once we get there. Sticking with the Little Debbie, I did pick up some extra thing. So these are two treats that they do not have the flavors of the ice creams, but that we have never tried. And like I said, Little Debbie was just on my brain and Big Lots has like a good variety of foods that I don't typically see at the regular grocery store or just foods that I don't think about until I see them. So first up, Kira actually grabbed this and put it in my cart because I had mentioned that I've never even tried these. Like she was really hoping that one of the new ice cream flavors would be these fudge rounds because this is her favorite. And I mentioned to her, I was like, I don't even think I've ever seen fudge rounds. I don't know what they are. I've never tried them. And she was just like shocked. She was like, what? So she saw these at Big Lots, picked it up, put it in my cart. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm bringing these home and I'm going to try them. So to me, it looks like an oatmeal cream pie, but chocolate instead of like cinnamon and vanilla. So we'll see. There's eight cookies in here and I don't know if everything is priced and I'm not gonna pop up prices for this video, sorry guys, but went ahead and got those and then this might be the last like little Debbie thing, but my kids are just gonna go bonkers over these. Again, they're similar to oatmeal cream pies where it's like two little cookies with a cream filling, but this is a chocolate chip cream pies. I think they're going to love it. They love chocolate chip cookies and there's eight cookies in here. So, you know, just, just add them to the sweets that are in my house right now. Good thing it's summer and I can just like, if, once the kids have their sugar, just put them outside. They can either sweat it off, run it off. I don't care. Uh, but outside they are going. Okay. I did get a spoon. I recently got rid of a couple spoons that were just needed to go. And then I got rid of all my metal ones and I've replaced them over the last like week or two with just black plastic or wooded. And I only have one spoon and I like to have twos of everything. I don't know why it's just, it, I, I, I have no idea why, but everything in my kitchen, I feel like I have twos of. So I needed another spoon. Went ahead and picked this one up. It is Farberware. 
and it's just a basting spoon but I like to use this for like stirring sauces and stuff all right I got this I need to check with Paige and see if she likes mint I know she will eat mint like as a flavor but if she like really likes it if it's something that I just you know when I see things like this if I should pick it up for her or not but this is a Dunkin like Dunkin Donuts hot chocolate bomb it's made with Belgian chocolate and it includes mini marshmallows she loves hot chocolate like loves it she loves all the different kinds of like hot cocoa mixes that I get and like the little chocolate bombs that I got I recently the last time I went to Costco I believe I got this big pack of the donut hot chocolate bombs that I thought would be great for summer and she's like gone through half of that package already I only have a few left and the younger three haven't even had any she's just all about it so I saw this and I thought I would pick it up for her she loves getting coffee from Dunkin Donuts so I thought this would be cute I thought about holding on to it until Christmas but because sugar you know candy and stuff typically last for a really long time but I'm just going to add it to our collection of hot chocolate things in our cabinet. The price is on this one though. It was $2.99. All right, speaking of hot chocolate, I picked one of these up from Home Goods a while ago and I don't think anybody's tried them yet, but I saw these ones and I thought they would be cute. This is the Cafe Caps Premium Hot Drink Mix. This one is birthday cake. It says birthday cake hot drink mix with marshmallows and sprinkles, six single serve cups with a cafe caps. So like the marshmallows are up here and then the cups, putting the, oh my gosh, I didn't even look at the back of the other one that I bought. It actually goes in your Keurig or for me, I have an instant pot coffee maker, but it takes the cake cups, like it takes little cups. That's what you do to this. That's really cool. So this was $7.99, but it's marked down to $2.99. However, it is good until December of this year. So I thought that was a great find, seeing how much, I mean, Paige mainly loves hot cocoa. I thought this would be a cute one to have because she's actually, you know what? I might save this for her for her birthday. She's turning 18 in July. Okay, so if you have been a follower, follower of mine for a while, you know that I really enjoy the Pioneer Woman. And at one point, my kitchen was like pioneer woman stuff all over the place. I was starting to get a little overwhelmed. I felt like it was a lot of color and a lot of patterns all over. So I have scaled back. I sold a lot of my stuff, but I still love her books, her cookbooks, and I love her patterns. I have a few things left from her, but I didn't know that she had like a dog line. So the second I saw the pioneer woman and it's dog treats, I wanted to pick them up and let my three dogs try them out. So these were actually clearance down to, I don't know what they were originally, but this little bag was clearance down to $3. Um, it does say Purina. So she's working with Purina, which is what the dogs eat right now. So I thought that was good, kind of staying on brand. This is five ounces and it is chicken cran apple recipe jerky sticks. It does say natural, grain free, and real chicken is the number one ingredient. So we'll see if the dogs like these, but I do need to feed them to them pretty quick. Good thing I have multiple dogs, three dogs, because this is a small package one, but it also expires by the end of this month or Best Buy. It is Best Buy the end of May. Okay, if you guys have seen a few of my Dollar Tree hauls, you know that I love their hand and nail or their hand and foot gloves. I feel like they make my skin super, super soft. They make my cuticles easy for me to like scrub off and you know pick off like the extra the overgrown part i just love them i definitely don't use them as often as i want to i still have a pretty good stock but i found some new ones and i couldn't say no so i'm definitely gonna have to like treat myself more often self-care take care of myself not really treating myself things that you know you should do uh, more often this summer maybe i'll even like talk the girls into doing some of these with me but i got a couple of different ones of the hand and the foot so this one is i'm not quite sure how to say that epl epl so hopefully i didn't butcher that name i had to pause the dog's see something outside and they're barking. It's probably a leaf just fluttering 
you know, across the street or something. But these ones are cruelty-free K-Beauty intensive repairing gloves, coconut oil, milk extract, hyaluronic acid, smooths and softens skin, deeply moisturizing to nourish hands and nails, and then a touch screen compatible. A lot of them are starting to say that. It says one pair with repairing cream. So I picked this one up. This is a 20 minute glove, it tells me on the back. And then same brand, the EPL K Beauty cruelty free softening gloves, paraffin, urea, floral, and citrus. Smooths and softens skin, deeply moisturizing to nourish hands and nails, touch screen compatible, one pair with softening cream, 20 minutes. Then, let me see, I think I got three of each. Yes, then this was the last one in the same brand for the gloves. These are moisturizing. So I got intensive repairing, softening, and then moisturizing. Sunflower seed oil, avocado oil, a vitamin E, and it says the same exact thing, like soften, all of that. This is one pair with moisturizing cream, 20 minutes. So those are the three. I think these were a dollar... 50 each because I was like, oh, I mean, that's kind of comparable. They're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree now. Um, I don't know if this is like a name brand. It says Discover Latest Beauty Trend K Beauty on the back. So I don't know, but I thought $1.50 was was fine. I was willing to pay that for some new gloves to try out. And then I got three, I think it's the same brand. Yes three of the foot gloves or socks, not gloves. Um, this one says larger size, which I don't really need. I feel like I have pretty petite feet, um, but it says hydrating socks, shea butter, jojoba oil, vitamin E, relieves dry and rough skin, smooths and softens, fits up to women's size 11 and men's 10. And then secure tab prevents from slipping off. I think all the gloves have like a little tab on them as well. But this one says one pair with hydrating cream and 20 minutes. This might have been $1.50 as well. Yeah, see there it says $1.50. This one has the price on it. Um, and then same thing, larger size moisturizing socks. This one is, okay, that one was hydrating. This one is sunflower seed oil, avocado oil, vitamin E says all the same things, one pair with moisturizing gel. And then this one is heel softening mask. So it doesn't go over your entire foot, it's just for your heel. Never tried anything like this before, but it shows like before applying and then after, it's 15 to 20 minutes, ultra softening and hydrating, intensive moisturizing therapy for dry, cracked and calloused heels, one pair. So. Like I said, I'm excited. I love finding new things to try out and maybe I can get the girls to do this with me and we can have like a little day where we do a whole bunch of beauty things together. Okay, I've got a big thing here. So I actually saw this and I thought it was super cute and I'm gonna put this on my front porch. It's two separate pieces, but they did like come together one price and it was $32. Real living, time to grow, planter with wood stand. So I picked that up. I almost picked two of them up, but I'm really not the best at keeping plants alive. So I figured one, we'll just start out with one and get me into a good, good groove of watering and, and all of that before I like try to become this big plant lady or anything. Okay, another beauty item or I mean from like the beauty section, but I thought this was cute for the summertime and I love that it's a three pack. I do have four kids total, but one boy, three girls. So each of my girls, I'm going to give them a chapstick. This is the I Love Summer Collection. So one of them is pink lemonade, one of them is peaches and cream, and the other one is sweet watermelon. So I picked that up for the girls. I always start out hauls like, when I'm sharing on the floor, like on my knees, and I quickly discover that my feet hurt <laughs> sitting like that. Okay, I've got all the rest of the bags behind me. I did get quite a bit from Big Lots. Okay, this, this next item I'm very excited about. So I picked this up for our dog, Oliver. We have three dogs, like I already mentioned with the dog treats. Two of them are older like they are they do not go on walks anymore they don't enjoy it they our dog bella can't anyway like she has no muscle mass in her back two legs anymore but buford 
He's still pretty active, he just can't. <laughs> he can't go for walks, not active enough. However, our newest addition, we've had him since he was three weeks old, and it was last March that we got him. So we've had him for well over a year. So he's still puppy, loves going on walks. He actually needs it to get all that energy out. With how hot it is during the summertime, I saw this and I was like, oh, this is really cool. Because we are trying to take him with us as much as possible when we go places just to get him acclimated. I mean, he's been with us for a while. He already knows like our family and all of that. He, you know, knows, you know, how we do life and all of that. He's part of the family. However, we do want him to get used to going out and being around other dogs and other humans and, and all of that and get him in a good space to meet new people. So I thought this would be cool to have this summer while we're out and about. That was a really long explanation. Anyway, it was $8, it's a three piece set. So it has a food container and a water container. One thing that I thought of is we are going on a hike sometime this summer. We haven't really specified the date yet, but we are gonna take him with us. So this is gonna be nice to have. We can put some treats in here, have plenty of water. It says, bring them wherever you go, hydrate and feed your pet on the go, two-in-one design for dry food and water. The bowl securely clipped to the side of, a, of the container. So it has like, where you're gonna put your food and water. And then it also has two collapsible bowls right here. I don't know if you can tell that there's two, but there's two collapsible bowls that we can use, one for food, one for water. So I thought that was really cool for $8 and that we'll get some use out of that this summer. Okay, I do not need another candle. Like for one, I don't even, I keep buying candles and I rarely remember to burn them. So I have a collection that I rarely use, but I couldn't, <laughs> just couldn't say no to this one. I thought it was just perfect. One, I love the pink color. I thought it was super cute for spring and summer, and then enjoy the little things. I say that all, I say this all the time. I say it to my kids. I say it to Mark, my husband, and to friends and other family. I'm just like, let's enjoy the little things, come on. So I love this, it smells pretty good. Not one of my like top favorite scents, but really for this one, knowing that I don't burn candles all the time, I just love the look of it. I kind of just like switch them out for the seasons and they all stay in my closet. And like hardly, it takes years for me to fill, to use uh, an entire candle. But the scent is peach and apricot. It doesn't say anything else, just peach and apricot. Definitely what it smells like. So not like my favorite, but Again, I bought it for the package. I thought it was super cute. Okay, I actually got a couple groceries <laughs> that I had on my list to get at the grocery store, but I saw them at Big Lots before I went to the grocery store. So I went ahead and picked them up. Popcorn was one of those. I got some popcorn. We are finally out. We typically buy it from a bulk store like Sam's or Costco, but we haven't really been eating popcorn as often. So I was like, I don't want to have like 120 bags of popcorn in the pantry and it take us over a year to go through all of that. So I just got a smaller box. There's 12 in here. So I feel like this will last us all summer. I got the Act 2 Butter Lovers because my husband Mark loves buttered popcorn. So I went ahead and got that. I don't see a price on it. So I don't know how that compares to other stores. And then the other thing I got, I went back and forth on getting these just because of how much other crap I've already purchased for the house. Like, and by crap, I mean sugar. Um, but Bryce, I asked all the kids. I said, let me know what you want me to get to have like stocked up for this summer, what you wanna eat, um, even if it like, especially if it's something that I don't pick up all the time. And all the kids gave me their wants and Bryce wanted Pop-Tarts and he specifically requested like chocolate Pop-Tarts. So I was like, okay, I went back and forth on getting like this size. This is 16, 16 count when I could have got like an eight count, 16 total, but I got 32. But I know he's really, oh, this one's upside down. I know he's really going to enjoy these this summer. So this one is the Frosted Hot Fudge Sundae. It's $3 for 16 of them. And then this one, same $3, is the Frosted Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. So if you live in my area and your kids want some sugar, send them to my house because I'm stocked. 
in the sugar department. All right, I'm gonna try to go through the rest of this food. I think I got just a couple more food items. These are so good and I pick these up really, like whenever I go in a store and I see them, I pick them up. Uh, Pearl and I really love them. And they're really good with salsa. Guacamole chips and some salsa, so good. And and queso, like let's just be honest. It's good as a dipping chip. But these are the El Sabroso, I think. Original guaco chip, we call them guacamole chips. And it says guacamole flavored tortilla chips. This is a 12 ounce bag and I don't see a little price sticker on here, but I was picking this up regardless. I mean, I, we love those. All right, and then this was just something new and I was like, I mean, let's just get more chips to add to our pantry, right? But these are Lay's Layers Sour Cream and Onion. And I don't, I just thought they were kind of cool. So I picked those up. This is a great small pack to save away. I think I'm gonna save these with the donuts and take these with us when we go out of town. So this will be like a snack. I was about to say in the car, but I really don't want them eating in my car. I'll save that for when we get to our destination and that'll just be one of the snacks that we have. Okay, I got some home decor. These were just so cute. I don't know yet. I try to be good about like when I buy things for the house, having an idea of where I can put them. I failed on this. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put them, but I know I have several places in my house. We are currently, we got a couple new pieces for the dining room that I think I could put these in or like fill these in places um, or the, the living room. Um, I think I could put these in the living room. I just thought they were gorgeous. So they are called decorative bowl filler. It was $12 and there's three little greenery balls in here and i like the like the sagey green like the frosted green not the bright green i think that those are really really pretty all right and then i got some clothes and i have purchased clothing from big lots before and i definitely recommend you size up one if not two sizes depending on how you want it to fit so i sized up on all the clothing that i got from I, all the i got three pieces on the pieces that i picked out for myself i sized up um, because i know that they one run small and they shrink so i wanted them to still be a little loose on me i don't like wearing like a tight clothing so the first piece that i picked up is a t-shirt and i just loved the color and I really liked that it said MTV, you know, just throwback <laughs> to my younger, my younger years. So I thought that was really cute. I love the green sagey color. I picked that up. They have a, they had a ton of t-shirts to pick from. And then the other t-shirt I got was this one. Again, sizing up because I know it's going to shrink and they run small and it's just a gray tee and it says homebody on it, which is totally what I am. Um, I, it's so funny like i love staying home snuggling on the couch having like movie nights game nights with the kids but i do love to travel as well i just don't like people <laughs> i'm an introvert i love to travel and see places but with my like with my crew you know with my personal friends and family um not like going out to meet new people i'm very very shy if i've never met you before um you probably You'll, you'll be able to see how shy I am if you've ever seen me in person. Okay, and then the last thing that I got, did I like really up this size? Yes, I really upped this size because I wanted a really oversized long sleeve top to wear. And this one, of course, see what it says? Enjoy the little things. And my favorite color is blue. I love the like creamy heathered. Can you see the detail in there? It's like a heathered detail. I think this is gonna be so comfortable wearing around the house with some leggings while I'm getting some cleaning done or even if I wanna be a couch potato, I hope that I like, I almost wanted to up one more size, but I hope this is gonna be nice and comfy. It looks huge, but trust me, it like, it shrinks in the wash and they do run small. They're like tight. So hopefully that's the right size and it'll be nice and comfy for me to wear. And then the last thing that I got from Big Lots is I've had a table runner on my list for a long time. Although, however, we recently got a new table. We wanted to get a bigger size to fit more. We are a family of six, um, but we also have a pretty large family and we have 
friends that have large families. So we were trying to see like the biggest table we could fit in our dining room with the most seating capacity. So we were able to find a table that fits in there that seats up to 10. However, they don't really make, I have a hard time finding table runners that are longer than 72 inches. So I did go ahead and just settle on this one. It is 72 inches. I love the natural like creamy tones in it. It's gonna pull from some of the other furniture pieces in the dining room. I like the white little itty bitty tassels. It's not, not some, it's not too much, but just a little extra detail. Um, but the one that I have on there now is just too bulky for the type of table that we have now. And it's 72 inches also. It just doesn't like go down over the table, which I'm okay with. I think it's still gonna look super cute. So I did settle on a 72 inch table runner just so I could have something out there. I wanna be like, put my stamp of approval on that room and be done with it and move on, you know? All right, so that is everything that I got from Big Lots. Now I'm gonna share with you guys everything I got from the Dollar Tree. All right, so no rhyme or reason to the Dollar Tree haul either. It's just, I'm gonna pull out things and however they were bagged up, I got a wide variety from like all over the store. So first up, I did get some wrapping paper for Maya, Kira's little girl, her birthday. So since I've already got her presents, I needed some wrapping paper. I like to be done ahead of time. So I'm not stressing last minute, but I did go ahead and pick this wrapping paper up. I thought it was super cute. It's just pink with some stars all over it, some shooting stars. I like the colors. This is 17.5 square feet of wrapping paper, which is plenty for what I need. These, I don't know about. I got them because I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if my daughter is going to want them or like them because living in Texas is hot. Like even our winters don't get that cold. I mean, we'll have like a couple really cold days, but it's rare and it's just a couple and that's it. And then it's over and it's, you know, you can walk around in shorts and flip flops all year, I feel like. Um, so, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna like these, but I saw them and like I said, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So this is name brand, Betsy Johnson. They are calf height, size small, medium, and they are cozy boot liners. Wear your boots, wear with your favorite rain boots. So I don't know, I, I thought they were kind of cool. We'll see if she doesn't want them. I'll see if my other two girls, Rose and Pearl, want them just to like play in or whatever. Or she could use these as like pajamas with shorts walking around the house instead of with boots. Cause they're just, I mean, they're really just a big sock. So I got these two colors. However, there were tons of like prints and stuff to pick from as well. Okay, to go with the wrapping paper, I did get this bow set as well. So I like that it had the two different options cause there's several things that we're gonna be wrapping. So I get to pick, you know, which bow I want to go on which gift. And then I did get several crafty items. I actually need to, I'm like the past couple weeks I keep buying craft items for my Cricut, but I'm not actually getting into the office. I'm like busy with other things. I'm not getting into the office to craft. So now it's like exploding in here. So I definitely need to, get some time to work on some crafts, but I thought these were so cute and I have a couple different ideas for these, but they are fabric bags. The only color that I saw there was the red. So it has like the red drawstring, but they're just so cute. Three pieces come in each package. So I did pick up several and the bags are four by six inches and they're just blank. They're blank canvas bags. So I thought that was great for crafting with. A food item, we're definitely set on cereal. I got some cereal at Sam's Club and I don't think we're completely out of cereal from the pantry. So I don't think we're gonna need to pick up any more cereal the rest of summer. But this one, I know my kids are gonna love. Any like cinnamon toast crunch type of cereal, they're fans of. This one is the sugar cookie toast crunch, limited edition. Um, the date is 16 September of 2022. So they will definitely finish this by then. Like I said, I mean, we're uh, probably the amount of crap in my house right now is ridiculous and I need to calm down. So remind me before I go to the grocery store again to calm, calm down. It is probably not going to happen. Don't, don't waste your breath, but <laughs> I'm just saying it. I'm putting it out there. Okay. I did go ahead and pick up. I thought I got some more, but it might be in another bag 
So Rose and Pearl love to play in makeup. And I know that's not gonna change over this summer. They're probably gonna play in it more over the summer. So the last time I was in their bathroom, just doing like a quick pickup between them cleaning it, you know, you still gotta get in there and clean it. Um, I noticed that a lot of their makeup is like down to the the bottom of the palettes right they're like nothing left so i tossed a lot of their old stuff because they were just letting it sit in there and i picked up some new stuff for them so i got three different color like eyeshadow palettes for them i like to pick up their makeup at the dollar tree because they're just playing in it so these are the three little palettes that I saw there that I picked up. I liked these ones because there's 12 in here. I felt like the girls were getting more bang for my buck um, versus you know, the Dollar Tree has a big wide variety of all sorts of makeup, but I just went for the biggest ones. This one is Chic. Then we've got Supernatural and Urban. So I know they're gonna like all of those colors. And then I also got them some lipsticks. A lot of their lipsticks were like broken and pushed down and needed to be trashed. So I did get them some more, but I thought I got them four colors. We'll see if I did or not. And I just went with the LA colors, again, picking up the colors that they had. This one is a Nectarine. Then I got the Luscious Wine and the Bright Pink. Did you guys see Buford? He's sitting right here with me. You might see him if he pops his head up again. Okay, we're doing quite a few water things this summer and I went back and forth. Like nowadays when I go in like the toy section, I'm looking for gift giving, not necessarily for my kids. They are pretty much getting out of like the toy section at the Dollar Tree. They're outgrown, they've outgrown that. My son Bryce is 11 and then Rose and Pearl are nine. Oldest is almost 18. So she's definitely out of that toy section. But I was looking at their water toys and they have like a bunch of different rings. So I just went ahead and picked some rings up just in case they wanted to play with these when we are doing all the, like the water things that we have planned. It does say for ages four and up. And I got three different ones. So this one is kind of like multicolored and then it has a zipper, not real, just like a zipper print. Like all the colors are zipping together. So I picked that one up. I thought Rose might like that one. And then this one is a donut with like the pink icing and sprinkles on there. I thought Pearl might like that one. And then this one is a tire. And I thought Bryce would like this one. So I picked these up. Well, I'm gonna check with the kids first though because if they're like, eh, we're kind of too old for that. We like to just jump in, swim, that kind of thing, cannonball it, kind of over the floaty type things, then I'll just donate those or find somebody in the neighborhood who could use them. Okay, we're gonna get into some more crafty items here actually first. These were like last minute as I was waiting in line. I saw them and I picked them up to keep in my car. So I did recently get a new vehicle. I don't have a van anymore. I'm a little sad about it, but also excited that I don't have a van <laughs> anymore. Um, so my car is like nice and clean and empty and I need to think about what I wanna keep in there. I have my bag actually, it's right here from everything I pulled out of the van, but not all of that stuff is going back in my car. I wanna kinda of think about what I want in there. But these were right there as I was checking out. So I was like, okay, we're gonna pick these up just to have something in there started. So this one is just a first aid portable pack. It says great for travel, all of that water resistant pouch. Um, 15 items in here. It looks like an alcohol prep pad and then a couple different band-aids. Yeah, it's got some swabs, alcohol swabs, and then one, two, three, four, five different types of band-aids, but different numbers of those band-aids in here. So just something easy for me to keep in the car for when we are out and about. All right, and then I saw this and sometimes when, mainly Starbucks, when I get like a cold brew or something, they don't give you a straw, but I like to use a straw with all of my drinks. When I'm in the car, it just feels like it's, I don't know, it's just easier for me when I'm driving. If I wanna take a drink and I'm driving, even like Coke cans, I like to use a straw when I'm in the car. So this is like a portable, silicone straw it even has its own little case so i did go ahead and pick this up it says silicone travel straw i got a black one i think they had blue also and then it comes with the little straw um the cleaner uh in there also like the little wand to stick up your straw and clean it so i went ahead and got that just to keep in my car but i will like make a more detailed list and get my car all stocked up just later on 
All right, I picked up a couple headbands, not necessarily, well, I mean, maybe for me, but I'm gonna offer it to the girls first because I do have a pretty nice set of headbands. I like to wear them. I mainly wear them like towards the end of the day if it's hot and sweaty like today and I've been out, when I get home, my hair is like psh, nasty. So I just put a headband on and it, you know, kinda, I don't know, I don't know if it helps or not, but it kinda keeps my head, my hair down. Um, so I picked these two up, I thought, that the colors were nice if the girls didn't want them that I would definitely wear them they are a little flimsy so I don't know about that but I like that they're smaller I have some headbands in this style with like the knot on them and sometimes when I'm looking at myself in the mirror I'm like man like that knot is really big like it's a big knot so I don't know I thought they were cute picked them up for the girls but I will definitely wear them if they don't want them. All right, now we're getting into some crafty items. So I actually picked up several of these because I thought they were so cute. I don't know if I'm going to craft anything on them or what I was thinking when I saw them is we have a couple functions that we're going to be hosting here at the house. And I like that this looks like a plate and it has a little, you know, kickstand, plate stand here. So you can set it out on the counter pretty sure because it's ceramic it's going to be easy to use a dry erase marker on here and i can label the food that we have set out for the functions that we are hosting so i just thought that was super cute i wish that they had some a little smaller this one is a really nice size so it is great for crafting with but for using it as like you know to label food or even a place setting. We don't really do that. We let people sit wherever, but um, I wish it was a little smaller, but went ahead and picked up several of these to give those a try and see what I think of those. And then sticking with the ceramic stuff, I also found some other shapes. Oh, they did have, they did have two other like kickstand varieties. I just loved like the ones that look like a dinner plate. I thought that was really cute. Okay, they had several of the ceramic again, but the hanging on the twine. I love the tags. I picked up a couple of these to craft with, to give it, you know, just to mess around with and see what I could create. And then I also picked up, so they had the tag and then they had the circle. They also had a heart. I didn't pick up the heart. I don't know. I just love these because you could do these for like any season, year round, that kind of thing. So I picked up several of these ones as well. I do need to like hold off on all of that, all the crafty stuff for a while though, because I, I still have more that I haven't shared with you. Okay. I knew I got four lipsticks. This one is satin. So I got that one for Rose and Pearl as well. Okay, you guys are already tagging me on Instagram and sending me pictures of all the lemon stuff at the Dollar Tree. I actually, so this is not the first year that the Dollar Tree has come out with the lemon print. They came out with it several years ago. I was on the hunt for a while. I feel like it was close to a year before I finally found it. And I do have a set of four of most everything. They actually came out with some new stuff this year that I haven't found yet, but I realized I was like looking at my stash to make sure, you know, what I had so I didn't pick up anything that I didn't have, but for the set of four for everything, I only have one of the glasses. So I did go ahead and pick up three of these glasses. So I have them as a full set but now I have four of everything. So I've got the plates, I have the dinner plates, I have the little like dessert plates, I have the coffee cups, I have the wine glasses, and I have these glasses. So I am set on that stuff. I think they came out with this year, they have like a stemless wine glass. I definitely wanna to try to get my hands on a set of four of those. And then I did have placemats but I can't find them. Like they're not with my lemon stuff. So either I have them somewhere else in the house or maybe I got rid of them or they got like, maybe I did, I did use them at one point. Maybe they got messed up and I had to trash them or something. So I might pick up the placemats as well. I just want to look at them. I need to see them again in person and see if I want them. Okay. We, I did pick up a couple items from the toy section just to save. I have this little area in my closet. If you guys are new, I like to call it like my gift closet. It is a bookcase with bins. I have some that are specifically for my kids and then I have some that are for like overflow or things that I pick up during the year that I know I want to give to somebody else. So I found a couple things in the toy section that I was like, oh, those are really cute. And I have a couple kids in my life that I think towards Christmas time that these would be great for them. So. I'm always thinking ahead, like 
because you know come Christmas time you might not see these right especially at the Dollar Tree they might not have them I did pick up a couple of these they are the nerf glow-in-the-dark launching discs mystery glow-in-the-dark disc launcher it has one launcher and two discs in here and again nerf and this is a mystery pack so you don't know which ones that you're going to get it does say for five years and up look at all the different ones on there cute oh there's 12 there's 12 different ones that you can collect so i got a couple packages of these for gift giving later on in the year and then I did, oh, I have another one of these. Here it is. I wanted to show you guys the different ones. So I picked up several of these little squishy pals also because I know a couple girls that would love these. And they had a ton of different varieties. So I only picked up a couple of them, but I wanted to show you guys a different variety. So the, this one is a two pack because they are smaller. So how it's a little turtle and then a hot pink elephant. Like that is so adorable. This one has a white unicorn, and then what is that? It's like a dragon, maybe? I feel like it's a dragon, maybe? I don't think it's a caterpillar, but I just thought those are super cute. So these small ones come in a two pack, but now I've never seen these big ones. Now they have big ones, so I, I just picked up two of the big ones. It has like a gummy feel to it. They're very squishy squishy they do squeeze a little or not squeeze stretch a little so I did get the elephant and then I got the panda I just thought they were cute so again I just picked those up those are going to go in my closet and I will reevaluate that for gifts later on in the year let me move my other glasses I don't want them to break hold up they weren't wrapped so i need to be careful with them all right here's another bag from like the food and drink section okay this is this has become a staple it's just like my childhood i every single time i go to the dollar tree i feel like now lately i pick up two cans of beanie weenies because i love them it's like a guilty pleasure or something so i went ahead and picked up two cans of beanie weenies now that i have like more stuff out on the floor the dogs are very curious in what i got okay and then this has become something that every time i find it now i pick it up because i think they are so delicious and that is the sparkling water jelly bellies so i got the very cherry the watermelon and the orange sherbet these are delicious that's oliver now so buford made his rounds now Oliver's making his rounds. Okay, and then this one I got for Paige. She has purchased a couple different types of kombucha at a couple different stores, and I don't think she's found one that she really loves. I think she wants to like it, but every time we've purchased it, it takes her a really long time to get through with it, and some of them she's had a couple drinks out of it, and she's like, no, this is not good. I, for one, am not a fan. I have not tried one that I like. This one I thought was a little different because it's in a can. So for, I've never seen it in a can before. All the ones that we purchased are more like smoothie-like in plastic jugs and containers. So I don't know, I, feel, I, I figured I would pick it up for her to try, but it says packed with probiotics. It is organic, it's 35 calories, and it is organic kombucha and blueberry ginger. This is a 12 ounce can. This was the only flavor that I saw, so I, We'll see. I don't know if she's gonna like that or not, but I figured I would, for $1.25, I would pick it up and let her try it. Okay, this, I don't know. I almost stopped into Hobby Lobby also and to look at their like floral pieces, little flowers and stuff because Pearl has a little vase in her bathroom and she wants a little flower in there and it's only big enough for like one little stem. So I was looking at the Dollar Tree and I came home with this one. I'm not in love with it though, but we'll see. Maybe, you know, it'll look completely different once we get it in that vase. But if we don't like this one, I am gonna go to Hobby Lobby and see if we can find a better one. But I did like this because one, she said she wanted it to be pink, to pull in from, she has like pink curtains in her room. Her walls are yellow though. So I liked like the yellow in the middle of here. Um, and then she has a couple little pink aspects throughout her room. So this will pull the pink into the bathroom. But We'll see how that looks once I get it in that vase. My gosh, my battery just died and I made sure it was a fresh battery before I even started filming this. So hopefully, are you gonna take your ball? Um, I talk too much, but I just like chatting with you guys. Okay, I actually, as I was placing 
as I was replacing the battery, I found a bag that was sitting out that wasn't brought over here. Uh, so I have even more, but <laughs> I need to stop buying the craft things. So I got two of these. Bryce actually already has one. So I'm going to personalize his first. And then I got these two for, again, I'm going to tuck them away for Christmas time. I'm going to personalize them. I have a couple kids in mind, but that is a long ways away. So we'll see once we get closer when I'm like making my list and stuff, uh, what actually gets gifted out and all of that but i thought these were super cute for a dollar 25 the lego storage they have two different options so they've got one where the box itself is red with the blue lego lid and top or you got the blue box with the red lid but it's just called a block storage case um i wish i brought bryce's down okay that was really easy to open i wanted to open it and show you it is com it is separated on the inside which i thought was really cool for like figures and if they wanted to separate it by like colors or you know how some legos are like not vehicles but like trees or like specific pieces that kind of thing gears all of that your kid could separate them if they wanted this is great for on the go also the sizing is really really good for that which is why i got bryce his so i definitely want to like i said play around with his first and personalize it and see how it turns out that way he can have it when we are out and about this summer but i did go ahead and pick up two extra ones to have then i saw these and i was like oh maybe maybe i could do something with these for the girls or you know to hand out or give as gifts or whatever but i picked up a couple of these these are cosmetic bags and they are wipeable well I, they're wipeable yeah they're wipeable on the inside too i know i've picked some up before that are like the plasticky material on the outside but on the inside it's cloth this one is the wipeable on the inside as well this was the only color i found which i'm not like the biggest fan but also it is neutral so i could put really whatever i wanted on it this is a faux button the other side is completely blank so you could really personalize to either side not quite sure what i do yet, what i want to do yet but i thought this was a great like blank canvas to have to mess around with so i did pick up a few of those then yeah i got way i got a lot of i must think i'm gonna have a ton of hand, ton of time on my hand this summer with kids home which you know is a crock <laughs> yeah right okay i picked up a few of these this is actually a two pack so if you pick these up make sure that your cashier doesn't try to ring them up separately it is a two pack which i think is really really cute i don't know if i don't know i don't know if i would turn these into anything together or if i would cut this off they do have balls of twine there at the Dollar Tree too. I almost thought about buying one. And now that I'm talking about what I have in mind, I totally should have. But I thought about just separating them. So then like you're getting even more bang for your buck. You separate them, you put new little twine um, strings on them, and then you have two separate pieces. Because even if you hang these, like they hang like that. So it's not like you could do something to them and be able to see it. So I do like the idea of taking these apart. But I got a couple of these ones where it's just the rectangle, the dry erase. Then I got a couple of this one, which looks more like a tag. These would be really cute. They're kind of big. So depending on what kind of stocking you have, but these would be really cute as a stocking tag or even for like Christmas time. I know we just had teacher appreciation week, but all sorts of like tags for gift baskets and things like that. So I did pick up several of this style but that's not it so those were the dry erase erase ones they also came out with them as a chalkboard so i got a couple of this one the tag style and then they had the rectangle style as well and again there are two so you're getting two for the dollar 25 which like i mentioned the way that they hang isn't really great for having the two together so i'm going to Take them all apart and have them as separate pieces okay i cannot remember if i picked these up before or not or if i found them somewhere else but there was a while there like a long period of time where my kids were talking about these like jelly foods you just open and you like squirt it in your mouth and it's like jello or jelly 
so I, I don't know. I saw them at the Dollar Tree when I hadn't picked them up. It is an eight pack of Jiggly Gels assorted flavors, fat free. That's all it tells me. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked this up. We'll see if the kids like it. Um, it does have quite a few different colors in here. So it's got a green, a purple, a yellow, orange, two different types of orange, a blue. I don't know. We'll see if the kids like that. I just thought it was neat. All right. I did, I'm not gonna pull all of these out of the bag. And yes, I did forget my reusable bags yet again, but I got every single color that they had. I think it was 10 total of these little Crayola washable paints. So the paint that I got, the girls, for Easter, yes, Easter, I got them like these fun paints and then I got them, I think it's the Mont Mondo, Monda Llama or whatever brand from Target. Well, I wasn't really thinking. I was just thinking paint. The girls like to paint. Well, I got them acrylic paint. And acrylic paint stains. It does not come out of clothes and curtains and table runners and all of that. It's very hard to scrape off a table. So I was like, no, no more. We are not buying acrylic paint anymore. Unless it says washable, it is not coming in my house. So I did need to get them some more paint. I was hoping to get like the bigger ones, but the bigger ones said acrylic on it. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I did get the Crayola. Like I said, I got 10 different colors. I just don't, I mean, I just, I don't want to pick them all up because I know I'm already talking a ton, but 10 different colors in here. These are pretty small. They are two ounces, but it says washable paint. So the girls needed some new paint. And then to go with the paint, I like to stay stocked up on the canvases because they're constantly going through them. We're actually going to, the girls have so much artwork in their rooms and they do have a lot of wall space. So I asked them, I was like, hey, we need to go through your um, artwork and whatever you wanna keep, if you wanna put it up on your wall, let's get it up on your wall. So I have a feeling over the next couple weeks, the girls' walls are gonna become like their art portfolio portfolio and maybe I'll take a couple pictures and share it over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me, Lemonade Mom 4. But I did pick up, I like to get the big ones when they have them. So this is a nice size. I got two of these ones. These are the thicker canvases. They are the eight by tens. And then these ones are a great deal for $1.25. So I got three of these. I'm gonna see if Paige wants one for herself. Um, she's not really painting as much as she used to, but this is a really big one. So I figured, I don't know, I'll check and see if she wants it. But this one is 11 by a 14. And this one is the skinny one, though it's not like the big, the thicker canvas. So I did get that. And then I got several of these because I think these are so cute, great for crafting with, to make as a gift. Everybody's getting handmade gifts this year, FYI. Not really, I already have several gifts that are purchased, but I'm gonna be making a lot of things, so I feel like I'm gonna be giving out a lot of handmade gifts this year, but this is super cute. I did have to go through them, though. They had a ton at the Dollar Tree that I went to. It is a wood frame with a 10 board. You can see here that they're showing that they put it into like a weekly board, and I think, I was gonna say, is that recipes? No, it's just like little pieces of paper. I can't even tell. One, I'm not wearing my glasses, and I'm supposed to be wearing glasses, but anyway, they made this like a weekly one because you could have it you know, portrait or landscape. But I did have to go through them because there were several, and these ones aren't even like the best, but there were several where the sides, the wood pieces weren't even like up to each other. They weren't butted up to each other. There was a pretty significant size gap in between them. So just to let you guys know, to be on the lookout and pay attention when you are picking these up, if this is something that you wanna pick up. But I did get several of those. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room, but I think this is my last bag. It does have some food in it. Rose loves her pudding. This is something that I, pre I pick up pretty regularly from the Dollar Tree. It's just a four pack of the chocolate vanilla snack pack. And then another thing that I pick up pretty regularly are these like junior dippers. The kids really like these. And I pick up both kinds that they have. So it's a five pack. This one is the pretzel sticks and then the cheese that you dip it in. And then this one is the breadsticks. Buford has his little squeezy ball, squeaky ball. And then this one is the breadsticks with the cheese to dip in. Okay, last but not 
not least, I did get a graduation card for Kira's son, Jake. He is graduating this year, walking the stage. He's actually already done with school. He finished, I think he finished early, shortly after Christmas break or right around that time. So he's been done for a while, but he gets to walk the stage with like his class, right? Everybody else who needed to go the extra semester. So I did go ahead and get a graduation card for him. That way we are set for when that date comes up. But oh my gosh, that was a lot. That was a lot. I've definitely been in like shopping mode lately. I feel like there's all these things like random pieces moving around, the crafting that I want to get done, some house things that I'm trying to finish up knowing I have a couple like get togethers coming up and I'm just trying to get the house in order and looking great. And then summer's coming. So we're getting ready for that. All the things that we have planned. So I hope you guys like the shopping hauls because I try to share um, what I find when I do just to give you guys different ideas. So give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.